Okay guys, let's go over a review of the exponents that we've been working on the last couple days. So I think most of you, if you were solving something like number one, are probably going to use the expansion method. Where if this is a to the third, you're going to write a three times. If this is b to the fourth, you're going to write b four times. So if we're going to use the expansion method, leave the six alone, three a's, and four B's in the top. On the bottom, five A's and three B's. Once you get that part, then we can start to do some canceling out. So one pair, two pair, three pairs with the B's. One, two, three pairs with the A's that cancel. So on the top, I have a 6 and a B left. On the bottom, I have two A's, so I'm going to write A squared. And that's going to be your final answer. Now, if I look at the next one, I'm going to use the expansion method again. So I'm going to leave the 3 and 9 alone for just a minute. I'm going to do 3 M's and 2 N's on the top. I have four, five, six M's on the bottom and an N. I almost ran into space there. And then I'm going to go through and start to cancel at least the letters. So one, two, three M's that get to cancel. I have one pair of N's that are going to cancel. So I have the three and the nine that I'm going to leave there for a minute. On the top, I have one N that's left, and on the bottom, I have three M's. Now, the only thing I would say with this, let me fix that line there, that I would suggest that you look at is this piece right here. If I were to put three over nine on my calculator to reduce it, I would end up with one third. And then if I put my letters on, the only other thing that might be a consideration is remember this one we assume is there whether we write it or not. So if I put M, or excuse me, N over 3M to the third, that's going to be my final answer. Okay, now in this last one, when I have multiplication like this, I'm going to go through and sort my pieces. So as far as coefficients, I have negative 8 and 4. For b's, I have b to the 7th and b to the 3rd. For c's, I have c to the 2nd and c, and then d. So if I'm going to put these together, my first piece right here, negative 8 times 4 is negative 32. If I put those two together, I'm going to add them. So the base of B stays the same, and 7 plus 3 is going to be 10. The only thing I might do with these C's is this C does not have an exponent, so I'm going to add an exponent of 1. But since C is the base, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add those together. So 2 plus 1 is 3, and then your D is going to go on the end. Okay, you have other examples in your notebook to go over, and then this will be our warm-up tomorrow.